loves and welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting into 10 designer handbags you should buy pre-loved. Now I have done this video in the past. I will link it above over here. One thing I always do before buying any bag, either new or pre-loved, is I compare the two and find the best price for the bag because something I don't like to do is overpay. Today, I'm gonna give you all of my research so you don't have to do it yourself. Let's get into 10 designer bags you should be buying pre-loved. The first designer handbag on my list, I didn't even realize this bag had gone up so much in price, and it's the Prada Galleria. It's a beautiful classic bag that I know a lot of people love for work. Now, I will be talking prices in US prices, so I looked on the US websites to get the current numbers for these bags. Of course, brands have price rises all the time, so if you're watching this video in the future, make sure you check the websites to see if there's been any price increases since I uploaded this video. But the current US price for the mini size is $2,950. And the medium size is $3,700. And the large size is $4,100. For all sizes of this bag, you can very easily find an authentic pre-loved one for under $2,000. Now, maybe there's a special limited edition or a color or something that you're seeing for more, but if you're open to color or you're patient about buying this bag, there's no reason you need to spend more than $2,000 on any size of this bag. Even some sizes and you know, colors that have been done for a long time, like black, where there's just a lot of stock on the pre-love market, you can even get this bag under $1,000. Bottega also be bringing out a new box clutch, which was a classic clutch for the brand that they discontinued years ago. So if you like that new one, run to the pre-love websites now because I don't think it's quite out yet or it's just come out. So that's the time you wanna buy the older pre-love version before it becomes popular in the new version and then the pre-love prices of the old version go up. You might be a little surprised that I have this bag on my list because I did get it new in store, but it's the Louis Vuitton Capucines bag. The reason I went for mine in store is that this size, which is the new MM size, had some size change in the past, and I believe this used to be like the PM size or something, but it's the current MM size of the bag. When you see these pre-loved, a lot of them have saggy corners and people just have not taken care of the bag, and I take really good care of my bag, so that is why I wanted to get this new, but if you, are looking for the BB size, you can get a great deal pre-loved, thousands off of the current retail. This bag is so insanely expensive now. I did get mine before the current price increase, so if you wanna see all the details on this bag, I will link my birthday unboxing review of it above. The thing with the Capucines, it's hard to give like the actual price because each edition, different leather, sometimes they'll have, you know, a touch of exotic on the top. All of these things affect the price, so there's kind of a price range of these bags, but you can look on the current Louis Vuitton website for the prices of the different sizes. And on the pre-love website, the bigger sizes, because most of them have a lot of wear and tear, you can get them super cheap. You can, if you're open to color, usually find a good condition one as well. The fourth bag on my list is actually like a bag shape from a particular brand, and it is the Bottega Hobo Bag. Now, they have the Jody, which is the new kind of it hobo style. Also have other different hobo style bags that they do in their collection. The hobo is not new for Bottega, so I know the Jody is Instagram popular, but if you're just looking for that shoulder bag hobo style Bottega in their classic weave, you can get a fantastic deal pre-loved. Have previous models that are not in production anymore that you can easily find pre-loved under $1,000. I will have options for all the bags I'm talking about linked below in the description in case you're looking for these bags. I'll find my favorites around the pre-loved sites and they'll all be there in the description along with linking some of my favorite pre-loved websites to shop from. Bottega has been a brand for people who want quiet luxury, appreciate quality, and craftsmanship for 
decades. Going back to these older bags, before they had the new creative director come in and revamp the whole accessories line, is something that I highly recommend, especially if you're into quiet luxury and that is your goal with buying the bag. This bag you should buy pre-loved is actually anything from Gucci. They just don't hold value. They have been increasing their prices in the past few years quite a lot and they don't seem to get the same attention for their price increases as like Chanel or Hermes does. Most Gucci bags today, like the medium size where you can really use it daily, are bags that I couldn't justify in store today at their prices. And why I wanted to highlight the brand as a whole, because their design strategy for their new bag seems to be revamping and giving us an old bag in a new version. Now, the good thing about this is that if you like to buy pre-love, you see it on the runway, is the time to go to the pre-love websites, search and find the vintage version and buy it then. It can be a little tricky and you have to get a little creative with searching because they don't always call the bag the same thing that they called it in the vintage version. Put vintage Gucci and then describe aspects or parts of the bag and see what you can find on the vintage or pre-love market. And if you wait one to two years after the launch of the bag, Gucci pre-love prices typically go down quite a bit. The exceptions to this rule are very covetous limited editions. I have this Gucci Ken Scott collaboration bag, which I love. This is one that is harder to find pre-loved and you often still see this pattern bag around the retail price. If I was gonna get this in the plain black version, you can get a good deal on this bag pre-loved. Sixth bag on my list is actually a bag I'm changing my advice on and that is the Bulgari Serpenti line. Now I've mentioned in a previous video, which I will link above here, that you should buy this bag new in store. And you still can, but they have had a major price increase since I bought this bag. So when I got this bag, I paid around, I think it was around 2,200 for it. And this exact size is now over $3,000. While it's still a fair price for the quality and the additional, you know, raincoat and mirror and all the odds and ends you get with this bag in comparison into like a Chanel mini. I am starting to see more of them reach the pre-loved market now, so it's easier to find the Serpenti bags pre-loved and they're usually under or around the $2,000 mark. And this might vary if it's a limited edition, but for the most part, if you just want a Serpenti bag and you're open to colors, definitely check pre-loved. Seventh bag on my list is a bag that I have had my eye on for years because this is one of the best quiet luxury bags and they do it every season in different colors and it's the Loewe puzzle bag. Now this comes in several different sizes but because this bag has been done over many years and typically more quiet luxury bags don't hold the same value as a lot of logo bags I mean, there are exceptions, but generally speaking, people gravitate towards those logos and are willing to spend more for them, new or pre-loved. Quiet luxury bags like the puzzle bags are great bags to look for pre-loved. The only reason I don't have this bag in my collection and I haven't bought one pre-loved yet is because I can't decide the color that I want. Let me know your favorite Loewe bright colors in the comments below so I can go searching for them pre-loved. Now the eighth bag is going to be a real shocker and I need you to hang in there with me because it may not make sense at first because it's not all sizes and all colors, but it's the Chanel Coco Handle. It's one bag that I genuinely believe that you can buy it in store and it's still a great value. Why I added it to this list is because in the past couple of years, every size, every color has been above the retail price because these bags were so hard to get. But I am now seeing the trends on the pre-love websites that you can get the classic black or certain colors around the retail price. They're not really a discount off of retail, but I know this bag is still hard to get. And if you don't live around a Chanel pre-loved, might be your only option if you don't want to go through a personal shopper and pay a markup to get the bag. So now I feel I can actually recommend you can find some good deals on Coco Handles now. Special colors that are just really sought after, forget it. They still go way above retail. Just so you know the current retail prices of the Coco Handle, this one retails for $5,500 US dollars plus tax. This size right here, the smaller size, called the small. It retails for 5,000 US dollars 
plus tax. Now, there are some websites that use the like Instagram names for them of extra mini, mini, small, and medium to label the four sizes. Correct Chanel names for the sizes are mini, small, medium, and large. So this is a medium and how you can identify which bag you actually you know want to look for and buy is the medium size will have this zipper pocket in the middle. The small size has a slip pocket in the middle and the size larger to this you can tell it's the large because it has a deeper drop to it than this size does. If it's so teeny tiny that you can tell you won't be able to fit your phone that's how you know it's actually the mini size. The ninth designer handbag that I think you should buy pre-loved is actually an entire era and it's Y2K bags. These little TikTokers have come in and made Y2K bags explode in popularity. It's no longer the old dingy style that you stole from your mom's closet. So basically just anything like the saddle bag, the Fendi baguette. A lot of these designers like Gucci and Dior have bags that are not the main bag that look very similar but are in their, you know, classic monogram prints or you know, very classic Y2K styling that you can get for under a thousand dollars. For example, like this Dior bowler bag, like there are definitely Dior bowler bags that are vintage that you could get at a fraction of the price. This new one is nearly $4,000, which is just insane to me. Because designers, you know, want you to buy the new version, they're not gonna make it easy. So like I mentioned with the Gucci bags, the best way to search for these bags, you know, what you can do is you can put in 2000s Dior bag, blur bag style, or shoulder bag style, or whatever the style of bag is, and see what vintage versions pop up. Once you get the exact name of the vintage version of the bag that you found, then put that into Google, and then you can find all the options of the exact bag you want. So the 10th bag on my list is me stirring the pot a little bit because you have probably seen all of your favorite neutral girly influencers rocking this bag. I don't know why I really hate this bag. The how it looks on the front is a little suggestive, but it is the Dior Bobby bag. I can't say that I didn't see this one coming, but now you can get a really good deal on these pre-loved and save at least a thousand dollars off of retail by buying this bag pre-loved. It's still not a bag I recommend, but the logo is quite subtle on this bag. It mostly comes in classic neutral colors, and the shape is very timeless in itself. Barring, you know, if you can get over the buckle, it's a nice bag. Dior is a brand that I always recommend waiting at least two years before you buy a new style, because generally Dior rotates styles, not as fast as a brand like Chloe, but a lot of styles get discontinued within five to seven years of production, which sounds like a long time, but for a designer bag that you're spending thousands on that should be in style for, you know, a very long time and that you can wear for decades, five to seven years is not a very long time. The Bobby has now been around for a few years. Now we're seeing that pre-loved price go down quite a bit. Dior is pushing different and new styles that they have currently. People are looking to sell their Bobbies and move on to something new from Dior. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of great helpful tips in this video. If you did, please give it a like. I would love to hear in the comments what bag you're looking for pre love to add to your collection. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok to see how I style my bags, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!